So this is my 81 CJ7, and uh, what I wanted to do, I've seen a couple of videos on the clutch linkage and pulling it apart and people cleaning it, like uh, Cool Guy does a really good video on it. I think uh, Landlock No More, I saw a video of him having it pulled apart. He installed some of it, but what I haven't seen online, and there may be something around, is uh, actually installed in and what that looks like. So I just thought I'd pulled mine apart and cleaned mine several months ago <clears throat> and um, thought it might be a good idea just to kind of go through it real briefly and talk about um, the, the moving parts if you're planning on pulling it apart. So again, this is the, the clutch rod right here. So I replaced mine. Mine was pretty worn out up here. There's a little cotter pin there. I put a little washer in there. I've cleaned all this up. I'm probably gonna powder coat this at some point when I pull it apart. But uh, this was pretty worn out up here in my original one, so I just bought a new one uh, online. It was pretty straightforward. It's just a, a bar going through there, through the hole in the firewall. And there's a little boot there, and I'll show the other side there, but you can kind of see I'm gonna push the, the pedal. That just, just goes down and pushes down on the clutch linkage underneath. You can see the little play there. I wanna talk about the play. That's when I start hitting resistance. What I, what's here going on right here right now, when I'm pushing the pedal, that's all the spring pulling it back. I have a previous video where the clutch return spring, you kind of see it there a little bit, pulls this back. But once you hit the resistance, kind of hear it, that's the throw out bearing hitting the clutch plate. So that's when it starts to engage. So I'm gonna go around here and kind of go through the actual. Okay, so here's the under view. I'm sure you've seen this before. So again, just kind of pulling out, front left tire, left hand side, pulling around here. It's still pretty clean. Kind of see that this is where the clutch this is where that piece comes in, and again, you can pull it. In fact, I still have a little bit of little play down here. That's where part of my play is coming from. The, the hole there in this clutch, I think that's been, this is the original right here. This clutch linkage. See, I've cleaned it up a little bit. I painted this. It's pretty straightforward. Just pull this out, those bolts are coming from the firewall and they're welded in there. And there are plenty of videos on how to pull this all apart, clean it out, especially Cool Guy does a really good one with all the grease and everything inside. It's pretty straightforward. There's just a couple mechanical parts here, just a couple of clips underneath here to pull the boot off. But if you just pull those two boot bolts out, this will come right off. And I also notice there's a little cotter pin here. So what you can do you can pull that out. So there, I just pulled out the pin. Hopefully I'll be able to find it now. Um, anyway, so you can see where you pull down on the clutch. It's got that little bit of play in it. Let me see if I can get a good angle on this. Because the, uh, kind of see that the, pull this down. Kind of hard to get under. So I had to come around to the other side here just to show because the frame rail right here, oops, <laughs> right here is getting in the way. But you can kind of see that, that it just comes across here. That bar comes over and it attaches. This is the dust plate for the transmission. And you can see it just connects with two bolts there. So that whole mechanism there, just those two bolts on the other side holding the clutch rod, and then the two bolts here, they come off pretty easily. So the whole thing is there. And again, other people have gone over some of the mechanics. I just wanted to talk about the how what it looks like when it's installed. So this thing turns when you push the clutch pedal. Again, that's my free play before the throwout bearing hits the clutch plate. Kind of see here, there's a boot on this other, other side here, and there's grease all up in there, so it keeps it nice and smooth. Again, this just goes right in there. And then that 
this bar right here, this is the clutch adjustment. I'll get a, try to get a better view of that. I think that's pretty good. So right here, this is the clutch adjustment. You kind of see you can, this uh, lock nut right here, just pull that lock nut back if you feel like, again, this is your um, clutch fork right here. So you can kind of see when you're pressing the, let me see if I can get in my armor to there. Nope. It just kind of presses right here. Again, that's the free play. This is the return spring. This just comes right off there. If I had some pliers, that just comes right off there. I've got a new return spring there. It just kind of connects right in there. You can kind of see where it comes through. Right there. Actually, let me turn the... A little bit better angle. There we go. And so here's a return spring. Again, you can adjust this in and out. That's a threaded rod right there and just lock it down. And again, there's there's nothing holding this in right here. You can kind of see that's the free play. Again, that's pulling. There's a also a little spring inside the bell housing here that pulls this clutch fork back. But kind of see that's when there's a pivot point in there, and that's when it pushes the, again the the throwout bearing against the clutch fork. I'm going to go ahead and pull out the rod over over there where I pulled that cotter pin out. I'm gonna pull that rod out, I think. There we go. And so you can kind of see that release of tension here. So this just this just falls right out here. So it's pretty simple. That's just on like a little pivot ball back there. And again, this just it just falls right in there. There's a little hole right in there. It just sits right in there. So it's not very <laughs> elegant and, you know, it might seem a little loose, but <clears throat> with this, with the springs in there, this holds pretty tightly in there. And again, it holds in there. <clears throat> um, now I want to talk about the, the clutch boot just a minute because I had a couple of issues with the clutch boot. So this is the dust boot right here. I'll get a better angle on that as well. So I want to come around the other side here, get a better angle on the clutch fork boot. Kind of see it's there. Here's the, again, there's the, whoops, you see? See how that kind of falls out because there's no tension on it. I'll go ahead and kind of leave that out for now. Again, that was that free play. I was talking about it kind of and and you can tighten up that free play whoops you can tighten up that free play obviously there's a ton here you don't want the clutch um the clutch fork to be that far back or the throwout bearing to be that far back from the clutch plate that's a lot of play so that's where this comes in the adjustment rod here pushes it forward and takes most of that play out you only want what I've read about an like eighth of an inch or a quarter of an inch between the throwout bearing and the clutch plate. And actually when it's running, you can, you can kind of see in there, if you shine a light in there, you can see the clutch plate spinning and you can see the throwout bearing um, right next to it. And you can kind of see that free play. Again, if you pull this boot off there and you get a good light in there, you get a good angle while it's running, you kind of see and you can see it engage because you want a little free play in there, but not a lot, because you don't want to be running your throwout bearing and have it spinning the whole time because you'll wear it out at that point. Anyway, so back to the clutch, or so the for the boot. There's a couple different sizes and things, just kind of look, it was pretty easy to look. That mine was basically square and I measured it and then I got a new um, fork boot. What's funny about the fork boot is for a while there, um, you can kind of see the, the the boot goes on the inside. All the pictures I've seen, this is this um, the the dust um, the the dust uh, the boot here is flipped around so that it's out here. And I thought that's how it was supposed to be because I didn't want the rubber going inside and potentially hit and touch the clutch plate. But you can kind of see here the angle is kind of weird, like the the clutch fork it's down here, it's down at the bottom. And the angle and the cutout here, 
matches the cutout of the metal when it's like this when it's on the inside again if you flip it if i flipped it over that way the hole would be up here and it's going to rip in about two seconds and not hold very well because the clutch fork is down here and you can't spin it around the other way because then the the rubber doesn't match up and it's also you can already see mine's kind of cracking it's barely a year old um, even with it set up the way it's supposed to be. So again, you can kind of see, I'll move this around a little bit, kind of see the rubber matches the profile of the clutch fork. But again, the rubber, it's on the inside there. I, I was very concerned that, again, the clutch plate was going to spin up against this or rub up against it, but I went ahead and put it like this and I gave it a try and it seems to work out well. It's cracking a tiny bit, but it's got to be far less than it was than it would be if it's all spun around and not appropriately heading. So again, that's just a little bit of a, I mean, these things are only like three or $4. You can just replace it. Just take off this spring right here, disconnect this bar and this piece. Again, the, the this boot just slides right in there. You just push it in there. It's just rubber. And it's just got a little seating rim in there that fits right in there. So you can get it in there without too much problem. Then put your spring back on. Again, it holds it pretty well. Pretty straightforward mechanism there. So hopefully that helps give a little bit of a kind of installed view and just a little bit on the, the dust boot here.